everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Esti here again. As I promised, in this video I'm going to teach you some Hungarian phrases regarding love and romance and at the same time I'm going to point out a few letters that it's hard to pronounce so hopefully you will find this video useful. Let's get started! Gentlemen, the first thing that I'm going to teach you is how to say to a lady that you look nice or you look pretty. In Hungarian it sounds Csinos vagy. Csinos is pretty and vagy means you are, that's the conjugated form of the verb to be. While C and S in Hungarian is technically one letter and you've got to pronounce it CH, just like you would say um, like in Cheerios, like CH. Try to say Cheerios and then based on that try to pronounce Csinos vagy. Okay. The other hard one is that what you see at the end of the word, word uh, vagy, G and Y again is one letter in Hungarian. That's a hard one, like it's hard to find a word that uses the same sound in English. So you've got to listen to me and just try to imitate as much as possible the same sound, okay? It's Y, like you form it back here and you say Y, okay? So together it sounds Csinos vagy. Now that you complimented on someone that, you know, she looks nice or pretty, you want to say, I really like you. And in Hungarian, you've got to say, Nagyon tetszel nekem. Nagyon is basically the one where you say really, or like, I like you very much. It's the very much part. Literally, it means very. Nagyon. And then, tetszel is basically the verb like. And you see that letter S and Z together. I don't know if you remember from my previous videos. S, just like in my name, Esti. S and Z is one letter and you pronounce it S. Nagyon tetsze. Nekem means to me. Okay, so I really like you in Hungarian. Nagyon tetsze nekem. I'm going to repeat it one more time just to make sure that you got it right. Nagyon tetszel nekem. The word love in Hungarian is very unique because Hungarian is one of the few languages in the world that has two different words expressing love, depending on if it's love between family members or friends or love, you know, like in a romantic relationship. So the first one is called szeretet. Szeretet is the love that you have towards your family members, towards your friends, towards your animal. Szeretet. While any kind of love that is like romantic in between a man and woman or two men or two women, whatever might be the case, it's, um, it's a szerelem. So you have szeretet and szerelem. I think it's very cute that Hungarian has two words. Even if you think right now, like, oh my gosh, now I have to learn another word. It's just, it, I think it's unique that we differentiate the different loves, while in English it's, it's just love, which I think is also very nice, but as I said, Hungarian is unique and we have two words, szeretet and szerelem. Let's suppose you're already at the point where you want to say, I miss you to someone. I miss you in Hungarian is hiányzó. It's a conjugated verb, so it already expresses that I miss you. And to practice it again, I'm going to pronounce it hiányzó. And you say the N and the Y. That's one letter. So to, to pronounce it, think about like saying New York. I know a lot of people say different, like someone say New York, like N, and someone would say N, New York, but I found that that's like the closest sound that, that let the combination N and Y sounds like, so if you say New York, think about the same sound and that's what you have to say in the middle of the word hiányzó, hiányzó, okay? And if you want to say it, I missed you, so you, you know, you met someone, you met a girl, a guy, and you say, I missed you, I, I'm sorry, I missed you, then you have to say, hiányoztál. Again, it's conjugated, it already, the past is already in it, like we conjugate the verbs 
in Hungarian. So you've got to say you've got to say hiányoztál. Okay? Think about that sound. New York N and Y is one letter in Hungarian. And last but not least, the hardest one, okay? If you want to say this, you really have to take your Hungarian to the next level. So this is all the gentlemen out there who really want to impress the lady, okay? You want to say you're beautiful, okay? That's a really hard one in Hungarian. You're beautiful means gyönyörű vagy. So in one word, you're gonna see all those combination of letters that I was just, you know, I just talked about in the previous examples. Okay, so you say G and Y, G, okay? Think about the sound G. And you're gonna say N, Y, which I just mentioned, think about word New York. So Ny, like a sound Ny. And then let's talk about what are those dots and commas, okay? Above O and the letter U. Okay, so the double dots basically turns O to an U uh sound, okay? Uh. Just try to repeat it. I know it sounds silly for someone who's not Hungarian, but just try to repeat it. Uh. And then those commas above letter U turns U into an U uh sound, okay? U. Uh. <laughs> I know whoever is it might be in the other room and you're trying to practice it. I know it's silly, okay? And to form it in all one nice word, you have to say gyönyörű vagy. I already said vagy before. Vagy is what means you are. Okay. I know it. It's worth practicing. Okay, because if you say this, someone I'm pretty sure they're gonna be impressed. Gyönyörű vagy. Okay. So that's all I wanted to teach you in today's lesson. I hope you found it useful and I hope you're gonna repeat after me, you're gonna practice. If you're interested in learning basic Hungarian phrases, let me know in the comments below if you liked it and what other things you wanna learn because I will make more videos based on what you like. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.